A place like no other, they say is the University of Sri Jayawardenapura, located just 15 kilometers away from Colombo, nesting over 10,000 students coming from varying parts of the country, to obtain their higher education. Marking the renaissance of Pirivnu education, Japuru is recognized as one of the most mature and picturesque state universities of country, offering courses and programs leading to officially recognized education degrees, such as bachelor degrees, master degrees and doctorate degrees in several areas of study. In terms of the student numbers, we are the largest university in Sri Lanka. So currently, nearly uh, 13,500 internal undergraduate students are studying at the university premises. Over 100,000 external students are doing their studies at the University of Sri Jayavadanapura. We have at present eight faculties and one postgraduate institute that is PIM. In addition to that, we have an external examination or the external branch that is for the external degrees. Very recently, we have established fully pledged Faculty of Technology and also very soon we are going to start the construction works of our own engineering faculty. University is also known to have one of the best library facilities of the country, which has in it resources both updated and also those which cannot be located elsewhere. The university same as every other state universities of the country, offers its internal students, hostel facilities as well as Mahapala and other student scholarship facilities. It is an active career guidance unit, which equips the students with career opportunities, and advice around the clock. At currently, we are working with nearly 25 research centers. So therefore, especially with respect to the world ranking and the country ranking, we really want to expand the research culture at the University of Sri Jayavadanapura. So therefore, we are thinking to establish more research centers within next two, three years. In addition to that, now we have a very strong university business linkage cell, UBL cell. So we have already established that particular cell in a different location. And with this, we are looking for more industrial collaboration during next few years. And also we have established Invention and Innovation and Venture Creation Council. We are helping the, our lecturers or this academic staff as well as the students to have a new innovations and inventions. So we are giving some grants. We are really looking to improve our world ranking and the country ranking positions. In terms of extracurricular, the university has invested a lot of time and effort in uplifting the sporting abilities of its students, thus paving the way towards having fully-fledged sporting arenas and areas. Results of this commitment, by both the administration, and especially the sportsmen and women have been seen throughout the past years, in terms of emerging champions in Sri Lanka University Games. Japura, most of all will teach its disciplines humanity, it'll teach them the beauty of diversity, it'll teach them tolerance and most of all it'll teach them people. Therefore this university with its luscious greenery, long walks, air and beautiful people, is indeed a hub of universal education. Venerable Mahasangha, distinguished guests, lecturers and students, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you all to the orientation program of the Battle of Arts in English External Degree. Dear students, a warm welcome to the University of Sri Jayavadanapura. This degree program is offered by the Department of English and Linguistics and all administration work is carried out by the external degrees and extension courses unit of the university. From today onwards, you are officially the undergraduates of the University of Sri Jayavadanapura, and therefore, congratulations. Now, please stand up for the university anthem. Sri Nivas 
Good afternoon, dear distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I deem it as an honor and privilege to welcome you all to the inauguration ceremony of the Bachelors of Arts External Degree Program in English for the year 2022. First and foremost, I would like to warmly welcome the Vice Chancellor, Professor Upul Subasingha, for this phenomenal occasion. Next, I would like to wholeheartedly welcome the Dean of the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences. Professor Shirantha Hinkenda for this distinguished gathering. Also, I would like to welcome the Director of the External Degrees and Extension Courses Unit, Venerable Professor P. Nevala Sangasumanathero for this occasion. Next, let me welcome the Head of the Department of English and Linguistics, Dr. Sujiva Hettiarachi, the Registrar of the University of Sri Jayavardhanapura, Mr. A. B. Valivita, the Deputy Registrar of the External Degrees and Extension Courses Unit, Mr. L. L. Vasanta Pereira, Assistant Versa and Assistant Registrar for this inauguration ceremony. Last but not least, I warmly welcome the Course Coordinator, Dr. Sujiva Sebastian Pereira, the Computer Program Coordinator, Mr. Yasir De Silva for this program. Now, I cordially invite the Vice Chancellor of the University of Sri Jayavardhanapura, Professor Upul Subhasingha, to speak a few words. I Bhuvan, Reverend Professor Pinnavala Sangha Sumanathero, Dean. Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, Professor Shiranta Hinkend, Senior Professors, Professors, and all the academic members, Mr. Anuruddha Valivita, Registrar, University of Sri Jayavardhanapura, Ms. KCT Priyangani, Bursa, and all the administrative and non academic members, dear students. As the acting Vice Chancellor of the University of Sri Jayavardhanapura, I would like to warmly welcome you to this external degree program. Our university is the largest in the country with 11 faculties and over 15,000 
in-house student community. With all the difficulties, we still managed to teach our students physically inside the university premises, but certain programs like external degree programs, we mostly conduct using online methods or the distant uh, learning and teaching methods. We received so many thousands of applications this time for the external degree program and you have been selected after thorough investigation process of the applications. Therefore, you should be proud to be selected to this university because you will be learning from one of the best set of academia in Sri Lanka because our lecturers, our academia, they do a lot of research, teaching and also they act at the advisory capacity to so many government and private institutions. Therefore, their knowledge is wide, broad and due to that we call the university is a community of intellectuals and from today you will also become a part of that community. I like to request to take the best out of this opportunity that you received, make so many interactions, intellectual interactions with your academic members and among yourselves so that you can have more opportunities to learn. By doing that, you can go forward from where you are today to have a more social stability, more recognition and perhaps more development of your career as well. And also from today, you become a member of Japura family, which is a very prestigious position for all of us and therefore I would like to request you to respect that from today to the end of your candidacy in the university and also beyond. Finally, I wish you all the very best and a pleasant academic life in the university. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, may I have the pleasure of inviting the Dean of the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, Professor Shiranta Hinkinder, to address the new undergraduates. Good afternoon. Venerable Professor Pinnavala Sangasumanathero, Director, External Degree and Extension Course Unit, Vice Chancellor, Registrar, Deputy Registrars, Assistant Bursa, Head of the Department, Dr. Sujiva Hetiarachi, Course Coordinator, Dr. Sujiva Sebastian, Distinguished Guest, members of the staff, students, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to warmly welcome you all to the commencement of the Bachelor of Arts in English General External Degree Program. First of all, I would like to congratulate you all on being able to our degree program. You are now a part of our prestige upcoming alumni of the faculty as well as the, this university. I would like to thank the academic staff for the putting a huge effect in providing the student with the best course to enhance their English knowledge. English is a basically international language that has now been used in almost all countries in the world. Uh, with the scope of the academy. Learning and the language, especially literature, 
will take a certain dedication. Your dedication is a very important to pursue this degree program. So I uh, believe that you are, you are now thinking and you are planning to uh, dedicate in coming three years, basically three years. We hope you all uh, finish within the time with your dedication. Your immense effect is very important to pursue this degree. So please plan and do your uh, almost your uh, full time dedicate to the, this degree program. Without that, you can't take uh, the degree. The thing is, uh, basically, the language skill is not just as a other uh, theoretical part. The language, you must work with the fully engaged with the language. So I think your, your dedication is very important to pursue this degree. This element must be added the degree program within your upcoming academic years. Therefore, I would like to encourage you all you work hard and spend your full time in your academic by attending lectures as well as participation other extracurricular activities and make these years your most memorable years in your life in the your university life our staff members fully support and especially uh, external degree and extension course unit uh, supporting staff administration staff and all uh, especially our director, Venerable Mahasang, also doing a lot of uh, work to uh, your, get your degree in uh, timely. So I think I wish you all the very best for your future. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your enlightening words. Now I would like to invite Director of the External Degrees and Extension Courses Unit, Venerable Professor Pinnavala Sangha Sumanathero, to address the gathering. Professor Upul Subhasinghe. Hey the Vice Chancellor of the University of Sri Jayavadanapura, Professor Shiranta Hinkenda, the Dean of the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, Dr. Sujiva Hetty Arachi, Head of the Department of English and Linguistics, Dr. Shanta Vijay Singha, Chairperson of the Board of Studies, Dr. Mrs. Sujiva Sebastian, the Coordinator of this degree program, and three deputy directors of external degrees and extension courses unit and other academic members, the registrar of the University of Sri Jayavardhanapura and the bursa and the librarian of the University of Sri Jayavardhanapura, all other members of external degrees and extension courses unit including the deputy registrar and the assistant registrar and assistant bursa. Dear students, on behalf of the external degrees and extension courses unit, first, I warmly welcome all of you at the 2022 batch of students of BA English General External Degree offered by the Department of English and Linguistics of Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences. You have been selected to follow this degree program by the well recognized. National University of Sri Lanka. The University of Sri Jayavardhanapura is the largest university in the terms of student population and also it has been ranked as the second best university in Sri Lanka. Among the thousand of applicants, you are very fortunate to register for the BA English General External Degree Program through a hard screening process and a selection test. The Department of English and Linguistics, recognized as a forerunner in offering English literature and English language studies, as well as English teaching methodology at the 
graduate level. The Department of English and Linguistic is one of the most outstanding departments in terms of its academic and professional credentials at the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences. As the offering department, it always tries to maintain the quality of the graduates with more active involvement in the teaching, learning, and evaluation process. Therefore, in fact, you have started to follow one of the reputed external degree programs offered by the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences at the time when there is a vacuum of qualified teachers to teach English in the country. After completion of this degree program, I am sure that you would be able to serve the world as a well-qualified graduate who has sufficient knowledge and skills in English literature, English language, and English language teaching methodology too. Due to the fact that lack of opportunities for university admission for a large number of students, University of Sijawardhanapura had started to offer external degrees at least five decades before. Since then, academic and non-academic staff of the university are giving their fullest support to conduct external degree programs in a successful manner. By adhering to the university's vision, prosper lives through education, external degrees and extension courses unit at the management body of your degree program try to produce a qualified graduate at the center of excellence in distance education through the online teaching and evaluation system. Today, external degrees and extension courses unit pay attention to main three areas. First, streamlining the degree programs to cater to current market demand, and the second, expediting the process to enable students to complete their degrees within a fixed time frame, particularly three years, and finally adhering to the best practices of online teaching and evaluation. With the blessings of these endeavors, in the upcoming three years, you will get the fullest support of distance education with a range of teaching aids such as on-site lectures, online lectures, and recorded video lectures prepared by an expert panel of lecturers in addition to the learning management system, LMS. Even though you will have easy access to the recorded videos of each and every lecture through our learning management system, please don't miss the chance to meet your lectures, lecturers during the online lectures. Attending online lectures regularly, you will definitely be able to get additional benefits such as making clarifications, discussion with the lecturer, and active participation in the interactive sessions, etc. You may feel that studying English online is not fun to begin with and forcing yourself study through a marathon will only make it worse. Dividing your works into manageable chunks and rewarding yourself when you finish each assignments will make study more fun. Even though we are facing severe financial and socio-economic issues today, I kindly request you to continue your studies in an enthusiastic manner and to get the opportunities made available to obtain a recognized degree from an internationally renowned state university at a minimum cost. Once again, congratulations on your selection to follow the Bachelor of Arts English External Degree Program. I wish you all success. Terwan Sarnai. Thank you, most venerable reverend, for the wisdom imparted. Now, 
let me invite the head of the department of english and linguistics dr sujeeva hetiyarachi venerable mahasangha vice chancellor dean of the faculty the staff of the department of english and linguistics the registrar of the university director and the staff of the external degrees and extension courses unit dear students and parents on behalf of the department of english and linguistics of the university of sri jayawardenepura I would like to extend a very warm welcome to the 2022 batch of the students of the Bachelor of Arts external degree program in English. Congratulations on your selection to follow this degree program. As you may be already aware, you have been selected to follow this degree program through a very thorough screening process and a very competitive selection test. conducted by the department of english and linguistics you were selected from over 1000 applicants who wanted to follow this program as evident from the number of applications that we receive each year the bachelor of arts external degree in english is a program that has a very high demand in this country so been selected to follow this degree program itself is a big achievement in your life we hope that during the next 3 years to come you will make the maximum use of this opportunity to develop and graduate from this program as highly competent skillful and employable graduates as a department one thing that we are deeply concerned with is the quality of education that you receive in this program our attempt is to ensure that you receive a high quality world class education that will prepare you to face future challenges both locally and internationally we have a curriculum which is broad and flexible and we have a highly qualified staff of which almost everyone has completed doctoral degrees in their respective disciplines we administer this program in such a way that you can complete the program in 3 years it is your responsibility to work hard and try to complete the program during this period The completion of the program requires a lot of hard work, dedication and perseverance on your part. Perseverance means the continued effort an individual makes to do or achieve something despite various challenges, difficulties, failures and opposition that he or she may encounter. It is an attribute required to succeed in any challenging task that you undertake in your life including this degree program. It is our experience that after being selected to follow this program some students think that they are in a very safe zone. They don't realize the amount of hard work that that this program demands. in colloquial language we often talk about getting a degree but a degree is not something that you can get a degree is something that you have to earn earning a degree requires a lot of effort hard work and dedication at this orientation at the beginning of this journey be determined to work hard during the next 3 years to come if you do so you can complete this program and graduate exactly in 3 years time dear students once again congratulations on being selected to follow this degree program at our department 
I wish you the very best for your future. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear sir, for your wonderful words of encouragement. Now, let us uh, listen to the registrar, Mr. A. B. Valuita. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Reverend Professor Pinnavara Sangasumanathera, the Vice Chancellor of the University, Dean of the Faculty, all academic, administrative, and non-academic staff members, the most important group of this function, that is the newly registered student for the BA in English External Degree Program, and their parents. First of all, on behalf of the university administration, I take this opportunity to welcome all of you to the University of Sri Jayavadanapura. Since after you registered as a student, we consider you as a member of the university, family member of the university, irrespective of whether you are an internal student or external student. Through the previous speeches, you able to get a very clear idea about the program, how it is uh, progressing, and what is the importance of the program likewise. So without repeating that, uh, what I want to tell you is, as the university administration, our main responsibility is to create a uh, smooth learning environment, facilitating all the administration work from the registration up to the issuing of your degree certificate at your convocation. Within that period, you have to deal with us about uh, your registration, then year-wise re-registration, examination matters, payment matters, so on. For all these things, we have allocated very experienced deputy registrar, assistant registrar, assistant bursa to the uh, external degree and extension course unit. In addition to that, university allocates very friendly young non-academic staff to accommodate or attend all your uh, requirements, grievances and so all these things at the, on the spot uh, without taking much time. For that purpose, university uses all the latest technology to communicate with you and uh, take your requirements to the university and solve them as soon as possible. Uh, in addition to that, at present we are planning to relocate your premises in a new place with have much more facilities and give you a feeling of a university environment likewise which we gives to the internal student. For all these things, uh, we need your cooperation within this three year period because without your cooperation, it's very difficult to handle all these tasks. Finally, on behalf of the university, uh, I wish all the best for all your studies and hope to see you, all of you, at the convocation in 2026 or early 2027 as graduate from the University of Sri Jayadanapura. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now I would like to invite the Deputy Registrar of the External Degrees and Extension Courses Unit, Mr. L. L. Vasanta Pereira, to share his valuable thoughts. I Bowen, Venerable Professor Pinnavala Sangasumanatero, Director, External Degree and Extension Courses Unit. Acting Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Upul Subhasinghe, Dean of the Faculty, Registrar Versa, Head of the Department, 
course coordinator and all academic staff participated for this event. Assistant registrar, assistant bursa and all non-academic staff of the external exams. Dear student and parents, first of all, I would like to warmly welcome all of you on behalf of the external degrees and extension courses unit. This unit is the administration body which help you to complete your external degree including your registration, online lectures, examination and external convocation. These days the IT technology is very important and improved. We will engage with you through our website and telephone calls and short messages, SMS. It is important you should inform us your correct and working mobile number and other details. We have published soft copies of detailed course outline, course prospect, examination rules and regulation in our website. You are kindly requested to refer these details. All academic matters of your degree program will discuss in study board of the faculty the recommendation of the study board refer to the management committee of the decision. You will receive your record book within few weeks by mail. As there are a number of students of the degree programs, you will have separate bank account number for your payments. It is compulsory to use your individual account number for payment. It is necessary you to join our online lectures and get the subject knowledge. Finally, I would like to mention you that external degrees and extensions courses unit ready to help you regarding your course matters. Thank you for listening to me. All the best, all of you. Thank you for your thoughts, sir. Now I welcome Dr. Sujiva Sebastian Pereira to address the gathering. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Venerable Professor Pinnavalu Sangasumana, the Director of the External Degrees and Extension Courses Unit, the Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Upul Subhasinghe, uh, the Dean of the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, uh, Professor Shirantahin Kinder, and the Registrar of the University, Mr. Valibiter, uh, the Head of the Department of English and Linguistics, uh, Dr. Suji Bahityarachi, um, and my dear students. I warmly welcome you uh, to the University of Sri Jayawardenepura and specifically <coughs> sorry, to the Department of English and Linguistics and uh, the External Degrees and Extension Courses Unit of the University of Sri Jayawardenepura. First of all, congratulations on getting selected to offer the Bachelor of Arts in English External Degree at the University of Sri Jayawardenepura. From this day onwards, all of you are the undergraduates of the prestigious, one of the prestigious national universities in Sri Lanka, with a vibrant history and of course a very colourful present. I am sure you understand the gravity and the significance of being an undergrad of such a university. It means being a student of Japura is part of your identity now. Thus, you have an obligation to have an act to behave and act in the society with more responsibility, more maturity and especially with a conscience that is morally accurate. You need to improve yourselves in terms of knowledge, skills and attitude so that you bring glory to the university and ultimately to the country. As this is an external degree program. The administration of the degree program, such as registration, payments, and administrative aspects of the organization of seminars and the exams, are handled by the EDECU, that is the External Degrees and Extension Courses Unit of the 
a university. The academics, such as teaching and evaluations, are carried out by the Department of English and Linguistics. I am the academic coordinator of this program and I coordinate the panel of lecturers with regard to teaching and evaluation. My job today is to introduce the program to you. I will also give you a brief intro to the panel of lecturers and a couple of things you need to pay attention to at the end. Let me now share the PowerPoint presentation with you. Uh, so the name of the degree program, as you can see, is, is a BA in English General External Degree. So in the program, we offer three main subjects, uh, English Literature, English Language, and English Language Teaching Methodology. And within the parentheses, you see, uh, e English Literature is referred to as E-Lit, and English language as ELAN and English language teaching methodology as ELTM. So those are the three main subjects we offer. And for all those three subjects in each year you will be uh, offering three papers, right? That means two courses for each subject. So each course or each paper is worth of five credits. You will understand what a credit unit is, what a credit point is. Uh, when you read your prospectus, uh, which is uploaded uh, to the external degrees uh, web page. So each course is, is worth of 250 notional hours and for each uh, course or paper, we offer 40 hours of teaching. In the first year, uh, these are the main subjects. So you have, uh, for literature, you have ELIT 1001 which is introduction to English literature and uh, ELE 2 uh, the second paper for literature is Augustan and Romantic literature and for ELAN that is English language we offer two papers uh, the first one is critical reading and writing and the second one is understanding English grammar and for the third main subject ELTM the first paper or the course is introduction to ELT ELT refers to English language teaching and then the second one is approaches and methods in second language teaching. Those are the uh, three main uh, courses and the papers that you offer and in this slide you also see that we offer two compulsory other subjects that is in support of your uh, program and they are not worth of five credits but of uh, two credits. Uh, and the first one is classical literature, introduction to classical literature. And the second one is introduction to IT, information technology. So in, in your first year, you have to take all of these courses. And in the second year, with regard to the three main subjects for literature, we offer uh, Victorian literature and the second one, literature from medieval to metaphysical period. And for language, the first paper is English for Employment and the second one, uh, Linguistics, uh, paper one, that is Phonetics, Phonology, Morphology and Syntax. And for ELTM, we offer Teaching Language Skills and Pedagogical Applications. In the second year also, there are two courses that we offer as compulsory subjects which are not offered by the department but from uh, the faculty. So different uh, visiting lecturers will be offering, uh, doing conducting teaching uh, for these uh, papers. And the first one is Sri Lankan Society and the second one is Leadership and Personality Development. So all of these courses including the other uh, two courses that you uh, have to offer in your first year, these are to develop your soft skills and other related skills. Uh, to make you competent uh, graduates uh, by the time you complete the course. Um, for the third year, these are the main subjects you will be offering. The first one for literature is modern and postmodern fiction and the second one for colonial and Sri Lankan literature and, the, and for language, uh, the first uh, paper is linguistics 2, um, sociolinguistics, psycholinguistics and historical linguistics. 
the second paper for elan english language is discourse analysis and the last one eltm the two courses are testing and assessment the first one and the second one materials used in uh, sri lankan schools um so those are all the main courses and i must tell you uh, the last course for eltm materials used in sri lanka we have uh, brought in a revision for that course and for for your year this batch it will be uh, materials development for esl so there is a change and uh, you will notice the change in your uh, course description you all of you will receive course specifications which are outlined for you you can download it from the web so for all the courses that i have uh, pointed out right now uh, we have offered we have given uh, detailed course outlines so you can read the uh, course outlines course specifications and find out what goes into each course and what texts we have prescribed for each of the Uh, courses that we offer which is very helpful and we have also provided you with um, extra reading for each course so that you can find out what you need to read uh, extraneous uh, to the uh, seminars that you undergo so that you can come very well prepared for uh, lectures and i would like to conclude uh, with a few tips that i want to tell you even though i call them tips uh you must consider them very seriously and the first one is that you have to read the prospectus carefully you need to download it from the web and you need to read it because everything related to the degree program related to the administration and academics are there very clearly mentioned in your prospectus so for example what should you do if you get absent for an exam if you want to leave this year's course and join the next year what should you do the procedures and if you fail in a paper uh, what are the steps that you need to take uh, if you uh, have to repeat a course and that is if you fail it in, in your first attempt and you have to reset it in your second attempt how is your uh, marks or gpa grade point average calculated all those information is very clearly described and explained in the prospectus so you don't have to call uh, the external degrees and extension courses you need for every single thing it's not very easy for them to return all your calls or answer all your calls you need to understand the practical difficulties that the university has um we not only have this particular degree program external program there are other uh, external degree programs which are coordinated and administrated and run by the external degrees program so that means they are dealing with thousands of students so it is not practically possible for them to uh, attend to all the telephone calls that they get every day it is not humanly possible so you need it is your responsibility to read the prospectus and understand everything related to the degree program also in case you have any questions or any uh, problems or doubts related to the academic side of the program that is if you have any problems related to uh, your course content or lectures or lecturers you can reach me my email address is clearly mentioned in the website you can email me and i always reply to all my emails so that is a reliable that is actually uh, the preferred way of communication with the university so that is the first thing that i need to tell you you have to read the prospectus and also read the detailed course outline that we have uploaded uh, to the website and the second thing you have to buy the text for literature subjects uh so for um poetry and short stories they will be uploaded and they, the lecturers who conduct literature lectures will share them with you but the novels you have to buy them and the, and sometimes you will also have to buy some text for dramas um when you read the uh, course outline the uh, detailed course outline you will find out what texts you have for each 
literature course you need to uh, buy them and start reading them immediately and that is my next point you have to start reading especially for literature courses uh, because by the time you get to uh, the seminars and by the time uh, the lecturers start discussing uh, the novels you have to have read them you cannot take part at lectures without having read the text and uh, you cannot you will not be able to write good answers to literature questions if you have not read the text and i mean it i would like to emphasize you need to read the text not about the text you will be able to read about the text um in the in in different websites on online in the internet but you have to read the text in order for you to uh, develop your insight into the uh, text and the last point is extremely important you need to check the web regularly we would uh, advise you to do it every day at least right at least once a day you have to check the web to see whether we have uh, posted any updates about seminars about uh, exams and any other information uh, it is through the website that we primarily communicate with you uh, we do, we have actually stopped um, sending out letters because it is not a very easy thing to do uh, so and i would also like you to provide uh, the administration with a phone number that rings you know students most of the time they keep changing the phone numbers and whenever we send out twitter messages you know mass uh, 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 texting messages sometimes you do not get it if your phone is not working so when when there are emergencies sometimes we have to cancel lectures uh, urgently if there is a problem uh, with the lecturer uh, if the lecturer has run into a, an emergency sometimes we have yeah. it it happens rarely but sometimes it happens so when that happens we have to uh, contact you immediately and we send you an sms a text and if your phone is not working you will be in trouble so i would uh, urge you to check the web regularly uh, to keep yourself updated and finally uh, i'm going to share the the final slide i'm sharing with you uh, has the name of the novels that you will be doing for your first year literature courses you have two literature courses in the first year and these are the novels for those two literature courses i'm giving you those now so that you can buy them immediately and start reading and um, when the lecturers get to the points uh, of discussing these novels do, uh, you will be ready the first one is uh, riot by uh, shashi tharoor and the second one uh, the waiting earth by ponikanj ponikanti vijayanayaka and the third one frankenstein by uh, mary shelley so those are the uh, things that i need to uh, share with you the important uh, details um, so hopefully we will uh, start lectures immediately in a few weeks and you will be notified of the date uh, that we hope to start lectures and we will also share the academic calendar and the timetables and i encourage you to take part at every live lecture now sometimes we record the lecture and upload it to the learning management system lms so that you can uh, watch them uh, but sometimes we have live lectures you'll be provided with a zoom link and uh, when you click in the zoom link you will be connected uh, to the lecturer who's conducting the uh, lecture it is very important for you to join these live lectures so that you can have a chat you can directly contact your lecturer you can ask questions and verify your doubts and it is important for you to have that kind of one to one interaction uh, that is a huge opportunity that the university gives you so that you'll have an opportunity to develop yourself grow in maturity and develop your intellect so those are the uh, main things that i need to uh, share with you uh, that is also the end of the presentation so once again i would like to wish you all the best um, take your studies very seriously i know some of you are working uh, some of you are engaged in other uh, work so it is going to be challenging but you are up to this challenge that is why you have been chosen 
and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Madam, for the full-fledged explanation. Now, let us make a moment to listen to the computer program coordinator, Mr. Yasiru De Silva. Good evening, everyone. I'm warmly welcome all of you to this orientation program of uh, Bachelor of Arts in English External Degree Program conducted by External Degrees and Extensions Courses Unit of the University of Sri Jayadanapura. So I hope uh, now you all have got an idea about what you're going to learn the next three years. And uh, as uh, we are running this program mostly on uh, distance learning mode, you need to closely stay with uh, our official website because uh, we are uh, make you informed related to your uh, whatever the updates and whatever the news uh, through this website. So it's your sole responsibility to visit the website at least twice a day. Okay, uh, this is the uh, official domain name of our website. It's called external.sjp.ac.lk. And once you visit the site, uh, you will be redirected to a page like this and this is the uh, home page or the landing page of our external website so as you can see there is a, a navigation menu in the top of the page and it consists of uh, six navigation menu links so convocations gallery e-learning library and the university home by clicking this button, you can visit the main website of the University of Sijaya of Dhanapura. So there's another navigation menu uh, below the top menu. And this is the one you have to use in order to get all your academic related information. So the academics, uh, this, the academic tab is the most important one while you are studying for this degree program because all the seminar information, exam information, registration information, and the recreation applications for your exams are listed under these tabs. So let's see the seminar tab. This, under the seminar tab, you can see seminar timetables and course view application information. So once you click the seminar timetables, like this, uh, you will come to a page like this and all the seminar timetables related to all the degree programs are listed here. So you need to find your related uh, lecture schedules here. So for example, let's see this one. This is related to Bachelor of Social Sciences in Environmental and Development Studies, third year lecture schedule. So once you come to this page, come to this link, you will get a lecture schedule like this. The time, dates, and the subject lectures that you are going to learn will be listed here. So this is a very simple thing. You can easily find your lecture schedules under the seminar timetables. So the next thing is the course fee applications. As you all know, you need to pay your the cost total cost fee in three installments, and uh, the, all the Payment information will be updated here under these course fee applications. Once you click it, you will be come to a page like this, and uh, it's your responsibility to find the relevant 
title related to a degree and get the relevant information. For an example, let's take this one, the 2021 batch, Bachelor of Arts in English, course fee application, third installment. So this means we have, uh, we have uh, posted an information related to the third installment of 2021 batch. Let's click it. And once you click it, you will uh, come to a page like this. This is all, all the information related to your payment are listed here like this. So we are, this is the general notice, the amount you have to pay, the closing dates, and everything is here like this. In order to get the application, the payment information, you need to click this button and you will redirect it to a page like this. So this is the most important thing you have to keep in your mind. So you need to enter your NIC number to get the payment information. It's relevant payment information. You need to get your, you need to enter your NIC number here without the letter V. If your NIC number is consist of a V or X letter, you need to enter only the numbers without the letter. For an example, let's say it's nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, to one and only to submit it no it's not okay once you enter your nic number your once you enter your nic number your relevant information will be loaded like this your student information the installment so your registration number and your name and your payment information if your information are correct you need to submit it once you submit, you will be loaded a PDF like this. And in this PDF, in the first, in the first segment, you will uh, see your general information. And the second page, we have display a specimen of the vouch of the payment slip you have to fill so you have to fill this account number and uh, you have to uh, fill this information like this in the bank slip and make the payment like this so in here you need to keep one thing in your mind strongly so for each and every student we have generated a unique account number so this is the unique account number we have generated related to your nic number so each and every student should enter their own nic number and get this slip so here what i want to say is we are not generating the same account number for every student for every student, we are generating different account numbers. So you have to keep that in your mind strongly. Otherwise, you might mislead with the payments. So I think it's clear for you. So if you need more clarifications, you can call us and get the relevant information from our section so this is this this is what i what i have to say about these payment procedures and uh, in the exam tab likewise uh, as you get the similar timetables you can get the exam timetables at the same way and the exam applications, exam admissions, 
exam results. For all of these, uh, for the exam applications, exam admissions, and for exam results, you need to follow the same procedure I have shown you early, which was you need to enter your NIC number and get the relevant information for your own. Okay, so that's all about the seminars and exams. And uh, for the registration tab, we have listed selection test, selection test results, registration enrollments, and likewise, some general information are listed here below. Okay, so this is the most important thing you have to keep in your mind in your academic tabs. And for other tabs, there's a courses tab. And we have uh, two sub menus for management faculty and arts faculty. In the Faculty of Management and Commerce, you can see the degree programs we are offering here. And for the art faculty, we have listed down the degree programs we are offering through the arts faculty. So I'll show you one thing. So as you are Bachelor of Arts in English students, I click this one, and this is the official page for your degree so in this page we have uh, listed down some general information about the degree and some and target students your entry qualifications your course outlines and the the special the other thing is uh, you can access the same links like this uh, like here the same navigation links in your so you can same you can access the same uh, links from here as well so as you can see there's a navigation menu in your right hand side you can access the the same thing in here as well so we have uh, placed your detail course outline here and uh, so we have uh, placed your detailed course outline here as well. So you can uh, click it at, click it and get the course outline. Likewise, you can get the general information related to your degree from the relevant page. So those are the things I have to make you aware about this web, web page. Mm. So you can uh, visit your LMS from e-learning tab and the library, e-library from the library tab as well. Let's come back to the home page of the site. And once you scroll it down, You can see a news and updates segment here. So this is the place each and every post we are posting on the website are displaying. So this is that's why it's called news and updates segment. And each and every post we are posting are displaying here. So here only four titles are showing and if you need to read all the news you need to click this all read all news tab like this and you are able to see whatever the updates we have done so this is the place you need to keep in touch every day and be informed so that's all i have to tell about uh, the website 
if you need if you have any inquiries or if you have any clarifications you can call us by contacting our reception and uh, make those clear so so i think uh, you got an idea about the locations and uh, the categories in the external website so i hope uh, you will keep in touch with the site and get informed throughout the degree program you are going to undertake so i wish you all the best for your future endeavors and next let's have a brief idea about the learning management system of external degrees unit okay now let's move to our learning management system and it's the, the domain name of our learning management system is learnnext.sjp.ac.lk so this is the virtual learning environment we are providing you for your learning materials first of all let's see what is a learning management system a learning management system is so called a software or it's, it's kind of a a forum which lets you do your all academic related activities for a given degree program this is kind of a website uh, if you are simply say so once you come to this learning management system the first thing you have to do is you have to log into the site so let's try to log press this button login and you will be forwarded to a, a login page like this the username and password we have already given you so just uh, keep that in your mind and enter the username here for example i will uh, get this username the username exists with the combination of your the first three letters of your degree program for instance as you are a bachelor of arts in english students your first three letters will be eng in lower case it means in simple and and your registration number the combination of your degree name and the registration will be your username and the password is your nic number okay let's log in okay so this is the after you once you log into the virtual learning environment you will be come to a page like this so here we have listed all your related subjects in your left hand side in the same way you can uh, click the dashboard here and see what are the eligible subjects in your first year so here uh, for the bachelor of arts in english degree program for the first year you need to undertake all these eight subjects so let's click one so for the time being uh, we have not scheduled you any lectures once your lectures are being scheduled it will be display here in weekly basis so here uh, as we are mostly 
encourage you to do your learning activities in distance learning mode. Uh, we are conducting your lecture sessions through Zoom. Uh, most of the lectures will be done by our lecturers as a live sessions. Once the session is over, before the next session starts for that particular subject, we will upload the recorded lecture in here as well. So you can access the lectures in later as well. So we are highly encouraging you to participate for live sessions rather than watching a recorded video. This is the basic operation in this learning management system. And uh, as I told you early, we will schedule the lecture sessions prior to the lecture dates and you can come and get those zoom links and the lecture materials in your own before the lecture you can access your lecture materials from this uh, under this course categories as well uh, rather than accessing through your dashboard once we scroll down the home page of the learning management system page you can see there we have listed down some course categories here as you are related to bachelor of arts in english course you need to select the faculty of human humanities and social sciences new intakes after 2020 this is the link you have to select if you are accessing your lecture sessions through this course category so once you click it all the degree programs related to the faculty of humanities and social sciences will be shown here like this so let's select that bachelor of arts in english degree and you are 2022 batch so you need to select this one so once you click that 2020 badge you will be come to a, a menu like this for the part one part two and part three as all of you are first year students you need to click this part one link once you access the part one you will be come to a, a web page like this. So those are the subjects you have to compare the subjects you have to complete in order to advance for the second year. So this is the critical reading and writing subject. So once your lecture sessions started, we will update the relevant lecture information in weekly basis under the under that particular subject so likewise you can access the lecture materials participate for the lecture sessions and later on you can access the recorded videos of the lectures for better understanding so those are the main things I have to tell you about this LMS. And uh, if you want to change your uh, login credentials, you can do it by accessing this profile. And you can see a gear icon here. This gear icon, just click it and click change password so you need to create a new password and you need to make the changes and save it likewise you can change your uh, login passwords as well so those are the the main things you need to know about your lms if you have any clarifications and, uh, at the same time, you can uh, call, call us and 
clear them all. So those are the things I have to tell you about the learning management system. If you have any questions or clarifications, you can call us or you can email us and let us know. We will always therefore support you. This is a very brief introduction about your learning management system. So I hope you will make the use of LMS at your best and get the expected results in a better way. So once again, I wish you all the best and get in touch with us. Thank you very much. It gives me immense pleasure to deliver the word of thanks to the dignitaries assembled here today. First, let me extend my heartiest gratitude to the Vice Chancellor, Professor Upul Subhasingha, for being here despite his tight schedule and providing constant guidance and support. Next, I would like to thank the Dean of the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, Professor Shirantahin Kenda, for sparing his valuable time to share his thoughts with the respectable gathering. Also, let me have the honor of thanking the Director of the External Degrees and Extension Courses Unit, Venerable Professor Pinnamala Sangasumanath Hero, for the leadership provided at all times. Next, let me warmly thank the Head of the Department of English and Linguistics, Dr. Sujiva Hetiarachi, the Registrar of the University of Sri Jayavadanapura, Mr. A. B. Balivita, the Deputy Registrar of the External Degrees and Extension Courses Unit, Mr. L. L. Vasanth Pereira, the Assistant Bursa, the Assistant Registrar, for illuminating this occasion. Finally, I would like to thank the course coordinator, Dr. Sujiva Sebastian Pereira, the computer program coordinator, Mr. Yasir De Silva, and Mr. Salih Vijayathunga for contributing immensely to the success of this event. Thank you. Now, please rise for the national anthem. <laughs>